Well, Chef, it looks like you've won over not just our judges, but also our audience. How do you feel? I, uh, well, I, I, I couldn't have done it without this young man here. No way! You can totally do this on your own now, Agent Bull. No, don't say that. That's great to hear. Because it's time for what, audience? Double down! No! That's right. It's time to double down. Chef will be cooking alone in our isolation station, completely dependent on his sous chef to gather the ingredients he needs for the final three dishes. Don't worry, Agent Bull. I'll get you all the ingredients you need. What do you think, judges? Ready for another course? No problem. We're... professional. Uh, we might have to... Uh, make a little room. Okay, first dish is vegetable medley. Ingredients on the board. I'm getting out of here before things get messy. That's not going to help the chef's final score. He's got the wrong one. Perfect choice. But is it too late? <laughs> no. Why didn't I start up an egg? I an egg. This young boy reminds me of a dog I used to have. It's the look of the around in the <laughs> One of those disgusting things might hold the key to our victory. Thank you. Where are we going to get strong? Oh, please get clear of the goat wretch for me. Look out! I don't like it in here. Oh, please tell me this batch has the ingredients. Oh, I, I wouldn't touch that if I exactly the thing. Harry, now, why are you not the final ingredient? Please don't play with that. Don't vomit is not one of the ingredients I need. Eat, 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 eat. Eat, 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 eat. Eat, 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 eat. eat, 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 eat. Eat, 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 Let's see if this young man has a passion for service. Uh -huh. Oh, it looks like our judge liked that dish. Perhaps a little too much. Oh, but it looks like someone's ready to get back in the mix. Ah, it's gonna be messy. I'm out of here. Second dish is royal borscht. Good luck. <laughs> Why is he picking up the wrong ingredient, I wonder? Stinky, but exactly what the chef ordered. <laughs> Oh, oh, I, I wouldn't touch that if I knew. Hey, but I don't want this. Please don't play with that. Ghost vomit is not one of the ingredients I need. Hey, you can do this, Compton. Just clear your mind. Why are you touching that regurgitated matter? It can't be good for you, and it must be unthinkably warm. Mm. Oh. 
with a vomit on this one, but I'll cover it up with spices. Show yourself, Gork! Mm. I'm glad I always keep beats in my pockets. For occasions like this, so oh my, please keep clear of the goat wretch for my sake. Oh, we hate to see that. I'm going to close my eyes quickly. Sort through that passion and get out of here. Please don't find me in my inner box. Here we go. That's just what the doctor ordered. Come on, I know you go take some eggs early. Hmm. We need to serve the judges, Chef, not attack them. Can the sous chef get his partner what he needs? What do you think, audience? <laughs> Oh, here comes some fresh candidates. Well, is a strong word, but they... Why are you playing with that? I don't want that. We don't need one of those right now. Ooh, looks like he's got a good one. Relative. Oh, I'll take it from here. Brace yourself for a hastily prepared dinner down there. Eat, 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 eat! Eat, 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 eat! Oh, I, I wouldn't eat, touch eat. that if I were you. Eat, 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 eat! Eat, 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 eat! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen! It looks eat. Incredible, but will the judges say it's inedible? Servant before it gets up and walks away. All right, let's see if our second judge can exercise a little more moderation. Uh oh, someone's been overserved. <laughs> and it looks like they're getting ready to slip out! But our final dish is no laughing matter. Mess up these jam tarts, and you'll find yourself in a sticky situation. Heavens! More ingredients. Finally! Mm. Here comes the spatula. What? <laughs> One of those disgusting lumps might hold the key to our victory. Wrong. This. Seems like the sous chef has picked up the mm. wrong ingredient. Rats, this isn't what I need. That's the ticket. Perfect. Mm. Quick, I need a strawberry for this dish. Hey. Quickly, sort through that partially digested bounty and find me my ingredients. Why is he picking up the wrong ingredient, I wonder? Attacking the judges is 
Put that down, Wolf. The judges are not gonna like that. Mm. Well, it's about time you Why are you touching that release? Uh, yes. Last it, ingredient. It, 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 I, I don't want to chase it, but I feel it, like it, this it, one will be my best it, one yet. It, Dinner it, it, in a minute. Eat, 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 eat. Oh, eat, I wouldn't touch that if I were Eat, 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 eat. Well, who are these jammy fellows? So eat, quickly, eat, young man. Eat, You'll eat, never know eat, what these eat, times eat, might eat, do. Eat, 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 eat. Run for the hills, folks! I don't know about you, but I've certainly had my fill of excitement today. All right, everybody, let's clean up this mess. Aww. Come on, get a move on. Clean kitchen, clean mind. Ah, you see, this is why I usually get takeout. But what do you mean they won't let her out? What librarian? Hmm. Here, my boy. You've earned this. I need to go find Cassie right away. Lost? We'll never get lost. I know that forest like the back of my hand. Wait! Don't you want... help? Hmm. Guess he doesn't. With this senior league pass, I can get to Agent Crawler in the bowling alley and try to reconnect that aspect of his mind. The bowling aspect. My favorite customer. Thank you. 
that until you rank up for best results. that Psychor with your card so you can rank up. Look a little young for the senior league, hmm? I keep all my gray hidden under the helmet. Hmm. Ah, good tip. Watch it. This disinfectant spray is lethal. Shouldn't you be wearing a mask? <laughs> Hi, kid. Hey. Are you sure you're old? Hey, coach. Hmm. Aren't you supposed to stay away from, you know, death machine plans? This is no death machine, soldier. This is a machine of peace. To protect the people you love from Maligula. What do you call your peace machine? The Psycho Mech Battle Bot. Are you still gonna make that thing? Those penny pinchers cut it from the budget. Well, maybe that's a good thing? Yeah. Now I can make it without any official oversight. How are you going to make it without money? Son, the less you know about it, the better. Um, yeah, no. Hey, don't you have an intern to take care of? He's on an important mission. I sent her out to get some nunya. What's nunya? Nunya business. <laughs> I saw Sam. And listen, I think she has some issues with animals. What? She's a bull. Bulls love animals. Um... I wouldn't eat those pancakes she's making. Eat them? No. We're using them as heat shield tiles for the psychomech, so it doesn't burn up on re-entry. Do you promise this isn't a plan to take over the world? Rasputin, that was the old me. Yeah, like three days old. Anyway, with the money Forsyth's giving me, I couldn't take over this bar. What do you think the mole is? Oh, Sasha. 100%. What? I mean, that accent, right? It's weird. Where does it even come from? Coach, I don't think... Trust no one, Rasputin. No one. Are you nervous about Maligula? Let me put it this way. If that mass murderer did come back, who do you think she'd blame for what happened to her? Where would she come for revenge? Right here. I don't mean this bar, Raz. I mean the mother lobe. Well, I'll leave you to your plans. Plans that will save your life, soldier. Hi, kid. Hey, are you sure you're old enough to be an intern? Yeah. Hey, can I get a drink? What, are you kidding? Take that card. 
Yeah, well, might as well take some practice shots before the rest of the senior league gets here. Wash out! There's the dinner bucket. <laughs> Got a cute little baby spit there. That's not the way to score big, kid. Ah, I've got hey, Ford. Jews aren't ready yet. What you doing there? Trying to disinfect these bowling shoes. And I think I'm losing the fight. Would you mind if I stepped inside your mind for a minute? Sure. Better than you stepping inside one of these shoes. I tell you, it's like Germ City in there. Just like a giant thought bubble, made of bricks. Keep the balls in the lanes, please. Sorry. I'm going to do my caveman thing. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Whoa, whoa. Oh, wow. Hey, look at that giant Ford head. I wonder if there's any brains in there. More than you got, Sonny. The end is coming! Oh, give it a rest, guy! Death is coming from above! Uh... Guy was right. All hail Guy the Prophet. If there's a piece of Ford's mind in here to reconnect, I'll bet it's up in that giant... Out of my way! I gotta get to that giant Ford head before the city is sanitized! Hey man, what's the rush? Don't you know the world's ending? Can you give me a little boost, fella, huh? I think I hear something. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. Attack the messenger. Oh. I needs to fix that rail crane, and you're gonna help me, okay? What's that sound? Eh, uh, sorry. That's uh, not how these things work. They uh, only polish balls. I think I hear something. Let's roll! Uh, yeah. I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. Almost there, buddy. Just keep running. Slick to right now. Hey, now, no crossing the foul line. What's that sound? This guy needs a duffel bag tag. Ah, 
I know what you're up to, kid. You slime so sweet. Here now. Come on, Chief. We're on vacation. <laughs> Ready? broken rail on the Kingpin Express before someone arrests me. Uh, this stuff wasn't in the way I totally be right. Get some control over your ride, man. What has this city come to? Well, let's lay some track. When the world gets destroyed, I want it to be perfect. Yes. Fix the Kingpin Express. Buddy, that ain't the Kingpin Express. That's the foul line. It'll take you across town, but you gotta transfer to the Kingpin. At this time of day, though, you're better off taking a cab. Thanks. up the trick I was about to do. Kingpin Express, coming your way. Ah! Just keep out of my head, or you'll be sorry. Just wax the wood. Oh! 
Time's over, germs. What's the point? We're never gonna get this building finished. Excuse me, but uh, I couldn't help overhearing your concerns. I have some literature here you might be interested in. Nope, you get away from me. I don't want nothing to do with you, Cooks. Just take this pamphlet home. Talk about it with your wife. No way. I know how this goes. First you say there is a tomorrow, then you say there's a day after that. Get this pocket off! Hey, everybody! Ella's working again, so don't bother flipping it upstairs on your own, whatever you do. Good talk, you pay Hey, why just stop? Oh, come on, L. We talked about this. Wow. Put my Hey, I'm working here. Hey, you think that hurt? That didn't hurt. Now goes all the way to the top. No need to climb up there on your own. In summary, all is well in the world again. Uh, except, of course, that it's ending. You 
and you loved her? Her name is Lucretia, but I called her Lucy. And even from that first date in that grimy bowling alley, I knew. Knew that it was too good to last forever? Hey, all relationships end one way or another. Well, I just didn't think it would end so badly. Hey, cheer up. Even gutter balls return. Eventually. Only one more piece of Ford's mind to reconnect. I'm making progress, but what if Maligula shows up here and Ford's not ready? I need to hurry up. Cards piling up, turn them into side challenge markers with a side core from the automatic. Not card, Miser. Combine your Psy cards with a Psy core from the automatic. Psy cards piling up. Turn them into Psy challenge markers with a Psy core from the automatic. Be a rank riser, not card, Miser. Combine your Psy cards with a Psy core from the automatic. Psy cards piling up. Turn them into Psy challenge markers with a Psy core from the automatic. Be a rank riser, not card miser. Combine your Psy cards with a Psy core from the automatic. Know what time it is? <gasps> hey, kid, you didn't take the toilet plunger, did ya? Hey, kid, you didn't take the toilet plunger, did ya? Hey, hey. what's up, chief? Hey, what's up, chief? I think they should give the guy a real office. He hasn't tried to take over the world in days.
Side cards piling up. Turn them into side challenge. Welcome back. Good to see you again. I mean, uh, tell me how you like it. Please use your purchases responsibly. for fingerprint. Access granted. <laughs> nice to see you again, Rasputin. And you've managed to stay clothed. Very good. Wow. Look at all these gadgets. Gadgets? Sorry, machines. Psycho-reactive technology? Rasputin, I thought you would recognize these for what they are. These are dreams. Where do you think machines come from? They spring forth from the human imagination. They are human thought made real. I invented that one when I was angry. When I designed that one, I was sad. That one, uh, I was just hungry. Incredible! Glad you like them. You know, I'm not supposed to check out equipment to interns, but Agent Nine seems to put a lot of faith in you, my boy. So, if you'd like to try one out, just let me know. Agent Mentalis? Uh, yes, Rasputin? Got any cool devices to lend out? Shh! Interns aren't allowed to check out my devices. But if you were to take your time, say, delivering one of these to Sasha or Mia, well, that would be none of my business. This one is a thought tuner. Use it to find stray thoughts floating around the world. And this psi enhanced camera is for creating photographic memories. I'd train you how to use them, but uh, that would only increase my legal liability. Have fun! And thanks for delivering those items to Sasha and Mia. What's your theory on the mole? Oh, uh, I really haven't thought too much about it. Maybe I should make a lie detector. 
So is Maligula as bad as people say? Oh, I don't like to think about that name. If my device had just worked better that day, so many things would be different now. What device did you build to fight Maligula? The Hyper High Glaciator. It amplified our hydrokinetic powers and allowed us to freeze water semi-permanently. But Maligula threw our friend Helmet in the water just before the device went off. He was frozen so deeply in my hyper ice, we were never able to recover his body. Only Ford saw it happen, and he is unable to tell us where to look for it. How do these machines make contact with your mind? The secret is the Cytanium. It's a psychoreactive quartz-like mineral that responds to and amplifies psychic energy. It vibrates with the psychic waves, driving the machines. Well, I ought to let you get back to work. <laughs> very, very uh, humorous. Brand new items here. Whenever you need more gear, the automatic will be here. So many brains. All voluntarily donated upon death. I have all the paperwork. Uh, somewhere. These people are all dead? Oh, their bodies are, and their brains are no longer capable of thought. But I've preserved them here, in the brain frame. What for? Experiments. Ew. Really? No room for the squeamish in psychic science, Sonny. The mind is the final frontier of humanity. We've only begun to explore its mysteries. That is, after all, the true mission of the psychonauts. Someday, my brain will live here, and yours too. What? Should have read that NDA more carefully. You know, sometimes you see a brain and you just know you would have liked the person. Seen one brain, you've seen them all. I feel like this one came from a criminal. <laughs> Probably a good thing this brain is in a jar. Been in there too long. Is this one bubbly? That one looks like mine. Cute. Wow. That is one weird looking brain. Yikes. Too small for Nick. Too big for Nick. Don't like the undulations. Hmm. No. Ouch. No thank you. Hey, this one looks not bad. Not bad at all. Card lying around. Huh. Yep.
probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. I hope you don't mind Poppins. Hmm. Maybe I'm too late. Doesn't seem to be any life left here. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? My name is Raz. Who are you? How long have you been in here? What's your name? Sorry. Oh, you. Sorry, I just haven't talked in such a long time. Oh my gosh, is that my voice? Is that what I sound like? What do you sound like? Oh my gosh, who are you? Are you not me? My name is Raz. Words. Words. You're saying words to me? <laughs> what was that non-word sound I just made? Am I dying? No, not dying. I feel alive. Very alive. Who are you? Who am I? Am I anything? Am I everything? Am I God? Oh, I'm not sure, but I feel like I might be God. Or the universe. Or the ultimate cosmic oneness. Or something in that jam. Am I right? Well... Basically, right now, you're kind of a brain in a jar. Huh? But if you can remember your name, we might be able to find out what happened to your body. I can't remember much of anything. Hmm. I believe you are suffering from extreme sensory deprivation. Years with no physical input has caused your memory and identity complexes to atrophy. Oh, I am not ready for words that big yet. I happen to know of a body that needs a brain right now to keep it out of trouble. If I were to place you in that body, you would start to receive fresh sensory input, which could trigger some of your lost memories. Let's do it! Wait, what's a body? Aren't we all one? I'll be right back. What? <laughs> Where can you go? This is everything! I promise to be quick. While I'm gone, you try to remember stuff. Okay, but please hurry. I'll try to remember when I created the universe, or when I destroyed it. If I put this brain into Nick's body, I think I'd be helping them both out. As well as helping me to get into the mail clerk's private office. Come with me, handsome. Have brain will trap. Back to the mail room to put it in Nick's head. Doesn't have the oblongata I'm looking for. That one looks a little soggy. Hard pass. Doesn't have the oblongata I'm looking for. Hard pass. Mm, too small for Nick. Ouch. No thank you. Too big for Nick. What's that smell? Hmm. No. <laughs> Approved hazing rituals for new agents. <sighs> Some things never change, I guess. Oh. There are some stray thoughts there. I should check it out with my thought to. Scanning access granted. Hey, I thought we had a truce, man. Hello. 
Hey, Sonny. Be a rank riser, not card miser. Combine your psi cards with a psi core from the automatic. Scanning access granted. Nick! TV? Nick, how would you feel about an upgrade to your sense of self-protection? Ooh! Can you hear me? Ball of light, are you in there? Light, dark, and every flavor in between. But all these colors are just one band in this sensual rainbow of rainbows. What is this room, and how can I taste it all at once? And who composed this symphony? Uh, Nick? One symphony is beautiful, but a hundred all at once? Oh, God. I can smell the Big Bang. There's an ant in the wall that's grinding its teeth. Everythingness. Oneness. Nothingness. Nothingness! Nothingness! Is this cashmere? It's too delicious! I should really go back in there, but I'm just a little scared. position of my body in space and time, and space is aware of me. Hey, Nick. I've got something here that will help. Is it a blindfold? Earplugs? Better. I don't know if you want to come in. Whoa, 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 what the? Ball of light? Are you in here? I'm here. Everything's here. Too many things are here. You're experiencing a sensory overload. Try to stay calm. Whatever you do, don't have a... racing. Do I have a heart? Your handling is so much better than I would be. I don't like it here. I feel like I'm about to go on stage. My fight or flight response is triggering. I say glide. Glide! Stay calm. Stay calm. Oh no. I can't breathe. I don't like it here. Stay calm. Stay calm. My fight or flight response is triggering. I don't know how to beat it. It's just too fast. Dear Universe, please shut up! There we are. This is good. Let's stay here. I don't like the looks of these, but I guess they're a sign that he's remembering something. I hope this is a good memory. Hope this is a good memory. I don't like the looks of these, but I guess they're a sign that he's remembering something. Where are we? Shh. It's a quiet place. I think I hear someone knocking. I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. Can we get out of here? It's not safe out there. Are you going to stay in here forever? I've already been in here one forever. Another forever won't kill me. Look. No more looking. No more hearing. No more tasting, smelling, feeling. Look. No more looking. No more hearing. No more tasting. Uh, come in? Oh, you, you. 
your vision. Yeah, and you're needed on stage. Come on, Psy King. My dark place! Psyche? Here's the situation. Nick's body is sending you all sorts of sensory input. Smells, tastes, visual sounds, tactile feedback. You've just got to deal with it. We know how to deal with a crowd, man. Speak for yourself. I don't remember a thing. You know, vision sounds a lot like my friend Ford. Were you in a band with Ford Crawler? Ha. <laughs> Good old vision. He always had such a good eye for, you know, visuals. I see. Well, maybe when your full memory returns. You know what this crowd wants? Yeah, they came for a feast of the senses. So give it to them. Oh, wow, man. It's been so long, I, I, I don't even know where my violin is. What is a feast of the senses? Is it a band? Well, it's more than a band, man. It's a non-stop festival of sights, sounds, smells, feelings, and flavors. And yes, it was our old band. Our old friends. Who was in the band? Besides me, there was uh, Tasty, Dr. Touch, Audio, Sniffles, and of course, on the mic, we had the Psy King. What happened to the feast? Well, the audience just disappeared one day, and the band drifted apart. Uh, I'd do anything to get the band back together again. I'll find your violin. Just tell me where you last used it. Can I even remember what it looked like? If only you could see the world the way I see it. the inside of an eyeball would be goopier? Huh. This kind of reminds me of our old stage setup. Coincidence. <laughs> yep. Oh. Can we get a little more volume in this mic? Are you copper bottoming them, my man? No. I'm aluminiuming them, my man. Ooh, what's that? that a tip of the tongue, the lips yeah. and the teeth. No. An old... Hey, what are you doing? Oh, that's right. It's that kind of world. Eyes are the window. Color is the bridge. 
Check, check, testing, check one. Check one, check. Best way to test a mic. Check one. Or is this two? Man, those things are too fast. Check this out. When you're alone as long as I was, time loses some of its meaning, and your perception of it becomes your reality. Want to give it a try? Slow those platforms down like I did. Is this all the colors there are? I'm starting to remember that there might be more. Is that a fish? I think it's a fish! Or a bus! I forget which is which. Yep. Well, you rode on it, so I guess it's a bus. Check, 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 check. <laughs> testing, testing. I've got eyes on the target. And I've got eyes on me. Hi! I see the violin! Did you see it? Sorry if you already saw it, I just think we should be checking in with each other. You know?
What's this? Do you eat it? Only if you're not careful. Oh, those look dangerous. Let's go somewhere else. You're my knight now, okay? so beautiful but it's too much too many colors don't panic ah, you said panic <laughs> show is going to be incredible. Oh! 
perspective. Am I using these terms correctly? It's been a while. Vision, I said this, but eyeballs are kind of gross. If you look at them closely, I already feel horrible for saying that.
it's better, but to handle a crowd that size, we need the whole band, man. We need Tasty, Sniffles, Dr. Touch. And Audie. Yeah, Audio. He'll remember him, man. <laughs> Where are they all now? Oh, they wandered off when the audience left. Could be anywhere. This festival covers so many acres. Hey! <gasps> Didn't we used to have a cool band van? Fearmobile! I'll bet they're still at the festival somewhere. Woohoo! So what's driving? They might have wandered into the campgrounds, it's true. Sorry. Ooh, our promoter's not gonna like that. Whoops. Good idea. Let's look here. Well, this is the campground. Dr. Touch and Artie used to like to come here. They like to get high out here. So, you're saying they're up there? Yep. And the view up there is amazing. Yep. You know, Vision sounds a lot like my friend Ford. Were you in a band with me? Uh. I see. Well, maybe when your full memory returns. <laughs> I've heard about music festivals like this. This one is surprisingly clean. Always do. No, we don't. See? Here you go. Me? You started this. Oh, choo choo. Here. Didn't you guys see the huge crowd down there? People are screaming for the feast of the senses. That's what I've been telling this one. But the problem with him is that he just won't listen. Without Psyking, there is no feast. There's nothing. But Psyking is back. What? He's down by the van with Vision. But we're not ready. We haven't practiced. Dr. Touch, where are our instruments? I thought you had them. We need those instruments. The crowd's getting angry. Hey, that kind of pressure is not helping. Yes, that makes us just want to stay up here. We're in safe. Maybe you could perform without your instruments? What could we possibly perform without our instruments? Hmm. Magic? I do know a little sleight of hand, you know. Please. Let me take a look. I bet I can find them. Sounds good to me. Let me give you a hand. Okay, 
Two instruments coming up. Hey, I love what they've done with the place. Okay, let's get those instruments and get out of here. If I know Wadi, this is gonna sound awesome. Oh, and Dr. Touch is good, too. Yep.
might not like it, but it was just so great playing with you cats again. Just so... so... great. You look good, Psy King. Let's face facts, guys. It's not going to work unless we get the whole band back together. Well, we need Sniffles and Tasty. Oh, Psy King. I've missed you. Then why didn't you come look for me? No, Let's go sorry. somewhere I would else. Never say Everybody, that. back in the van. Can't beat that old van smell. These are the concession stands. If they got hungry, they'll be here. Careful. This is a good idea. Let's look here. Tasty and Sniffles hung around here a lot. Oh, so many scents and flavors. And lines, man. So many long lines. I'll go find Tasty and Sniffles. They sound hungry. I feel bad about cutting in line, but I'm on a mission. I think if I fell into that hungry crowd, they would eat me. Excuse me? Hang on, kid. We're trying to decide what to order. You can eat after the show. Vision and Psy King are waiting by the van. What? Psy King is back? Let's get our instruments. We've been in this line for so long, I'm not even sure where they are. Do they have corn dogs? If so, that's what you should get. Kid, the Psy King is back. This is no time for eating. I can't believe I just said that. Why don't you just buy new instruments? My instrument is like a part of me. Yes, mine too. But part of me I set down somewhere and I can't remember. If you guys let me take a look, I'll bet I can find them. Oh, Tasty, I can't decide. Well... Maybe I can find their instruments before they make up their minds. I have to admit, I'm a little afraid of this one. Why, because of all the tongues and boogers? <laughs> That's all just part of being in a band, man. Certainly took a long time. Come on, my fans are waiting. It smells like the way across. The flavor of the Big Bang is ever expanding. Oh, 
flavors there are. So many people eat without really tasting. Such a shame. I can smell my own sweat. You're not supposed to be able to do that, are you? Oh, God. Now I can taste it. Oh, I... about.
Cuevas. Oh, I gotta say, Saking, you're almost looking like your old self again. I'm sorry I abandoned the band, you guys. Hey, it's gonna make for a better rockumentary someday. Time for the feast. Feast! feast! Just a thought is all I've got Now my cover's blown At the bottom of a lake Of frozen feeling When my friends pulled me back up I started healing molecule through my cosmic eye Senses are the magic keys They fill the holes I've had Unlocking all my memories I never Never Wanna bet Helma Uh-oh Oh, oh no. no Not, Not again. again I know her from Lobato's nightmare. I know her from my nightmares. <laughs> Don't worry. All your friends are here. Friends? Oh, do you mean these friends? The ones who abandoned him in the ice for 20 years. Don't listen to her. Their universe, please! Shut up! There we go. That's better. 
Problem solved. Ball of light? You're a helmet full bear! Everyone thinks you died in the deluge of Grulovia. What happened? <sighs> I can't remember much of anything. Well, if you don't mind, I can try to help with that. going on here? Ah, this was my stupid plan to defeat Maligula. You okay? So far. You okay? I'm moving too fast for that. Yep. That's an interesting approach to memories. You were going to act her to death? did a monologue about Lucy's life and what she meant to us. To try and bring her back. I was useless that day. You think you were useless that day? I tried to stop her with a motivational speech. Actually, Full Bear, you distracted her long enough that I was able to recruit some local animals to help. Which also didn't work. We all brought what we had to the battle. The main thing was, your beautiful performance did bring out the old Lucy. Just for a bit. It reminded us that she was in there. So, Maligula used to be... your friend? And her name was... Lucy? <sighs> was she the seventh member of the Psychic Six? Lucretia Mux? But she went bad somehow and then you all had to go fight your friend? I liked not remembering. I'm learning a lot. You guys! I'm right here! Where are you going? Why did you all abandon me for a thousand years? Twenty. Maybe in your world? Did they even look for me? Did they all forget I existed? We did look for you, Full Bear. But my stupid Hyper High Glaciator there, which we brought to freeze Maligula, well, it, uh... It worked as designed, Otto. But you were so deep in that frozen lake, we couldn't find you. No matter how much we dug. I know you're just speculating here, Helmet. But I think you're probably right. But I sent you my brain, Ford. Didn't you find it? I... I don't know. Ford must have brought your brain back because I found it in Otto's lab. He must have lost that memory when his mind was shattered in the battle. My brain was shattered? Well, come on. It was a little crack to begin with. If my body's been in hyper ice all this time, I'll bet I look amazing. Almost done. I'm starting to enjoy it now. where that monster drowned my Bobby. Because I failed. Because my stupid plan couldn't save him. No, you saved me. You threw yourself into the path of danger, sacrificing yourself to save me. Rather dramatically, I might add. Well, I mean, thank you. So, I'm not dead. I'm out there somewhere waiting for you to come back to me. I'm coming to you, right now. I swear. Better hurry. 
You know how I get. Memories, my boy. Just a show we put on inside our heads. Sometimes the first draft of the script stinks. Thanks for helping me with the rewrites. Now let's go give the people what they want. <laughs> Everybody stand back. Remember, this is our friend, Lucy. She's going through a tough time. I think she might just need someone to listen to her. Save your sympathy for your shrubbery, Donato. body yet for bear but not to worry I've got your brain and I'm gonna keep it safe back at HQ and come back for the rest of you just after I figure out what to do with Lucy okay I know you won't forget about me I don't think anybody's gonna forget about you after that performance in fact I think they're demanding an encore Senior staff only. I'm... Who am I again? Nick John Smith. Nick John Smith, senior mailroom staff. Welcome. Helmet Fulbear. Deceased. About time they sent me an assistant. Ford's gonna be so excited when he figures out who you really are, Agent Fulbear. Everybody is. Kid, I owed you one. And now we're square. But I'm not ready to face Cruller. Not until I talk to Bob. But Lots of baggage to unpack. You wouldn't understand. But please, tell no one of my return. But... I'll see you at curtain call! Oh, somebody shut that door before the wind blows all my letters away!
don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I think I'm basically the lord of all time, space, and dimension now. Excuse me, Agent Cruller? Clerk Cruller. Yes? How are you feeling? Busy. It's like nobody's been sorting the mail for days. Would you mind if I, uh, went inside your mind and sorted a few things out? Eh, I'm never opposed to anything getting properly sorted. Dear Ford, we brought peace to Grulovia, but there is still unrest among the people. A little ungrateful, I think. Home soon, Lucretia. Ford's mind in here for me to reconnect. It'll probably be up in that giant clunky head. Hey, I came out of that clunky head. Really? Can you help me get in there? Uh, maybe, to tell you the truth. I'm not addressed very well, so... I'm sure I'll be marked return to sender and sent back there soon. Just grab on. Did someone say return to sender? <laughs> This letter's got no return address. I'm afraid that means the dead letter office for you. But wait, I'm a heartfelt love letter. Don't care who you courted, the feelings must get sorted. Yep. <laughs> Too many letters, they just keep coming. What's the point? Nobody ever writes what they really mean. I wrote a letter once. Did I think I could stop a war? Ah, doesn't matter. I never sent it. Maybe it would have saved a thousand lives. Maybe just one. I wonder what would have happened if I'd sent that letter. I wonder if it's too late. out of here? Will you still take me up to the head? Yes, but quick, before he... Whoa! Ah! Oh, my mistake. This doesn't belong in the dead letter office. <laughs> Look at that address. It belongs in the international dead letter office. What? No, wait! Uh-oh.
There we go. Yourself. We're just worried about you. Love, Ford, and friends. Gentle rain's not enough to secure my reign. Stop being coy with the hoy hoy. Now where did I put that letter? I must have put it somewhere around here.
people have no nickname for me. They call me Malikula. Nah, oh, sounds serious. Nice. Take it as this hat box needs a hat box tag. I like it so much, in fact. I can't remember being called by another name. Just hold still. I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh, no. <sighs> Some that is are such a pain in the neck, they really belong in the furnace. Wait. I think I know how to address this one. Really? Well, it's worth a shot. But don't take all day. The mail must sail into tomorrow, no time to borrow. Boy, I hope you know what you're doing. I need over there. I need to pass better. Now where are the rest? Still two missing. Okay, keyboard is almost complete. Just one key missing. But where is it?
This nugget is saying to me, take me away. Is that the missing typewriter key? I think I know who Ford would like to address this letter to. Send that off and see what we get. You see, a mail just doesn't matter. Mailbox. You aren't allowed in here. You've been missorted. You touch that, and it's a federal crime. <gasps> what did you say in that letter? Nothing important, really. Just that I loved her. She just wanted to help, but they, they pushed her too far. How should we have known? It's not like she was marked fragile. But I thought I knew her and everything she held inside herself. Ah, I had so much to learn. I guess some packages are better left unopened. Rasputin. Agent Crawler, how do you feel? I've done a terrible thing. And so have you. But we just wanted to undo what Maligula did to you. Maligula didn't do this to me. That's the first thing I've learned in here. The rest, you're gonna have to see for yourself. Ford, what is it? See for yourself.
Agent Crawler, I'm getting less sure I want to see this. Oh no, I don't think you'll want to see this at all. Deep Six treatment. I did what I had to do. I loved her after all. Wait, what? Someday when you fall in love, you'll understand. What's going on here? What did you want me to see? I couldn't let her go free. She was a danger to the world. Even though it was the world that made her dangerous. Lucretia? Where is she? Safe. She's safe. Well, she was. And we all were. Huh. <laughs> Not anymore. Whatever I'm supposed to know, just spit it out. I had to hide her from the world because they'd never forgive her. And I had to hide her from me because I'd never forget her. Where? Where did you hide her? She's with family.
Oopsie. Ha! Who's that? Now that's your grandparents, Laszlo and Morona. They drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster, remember? What? No! Grandpa Laszlo died there, but Grandma made it out and came to live with my father. No, Raz. She didn't. Ford, I just saw her today. No, you didn't. With Maligula? She was defeated, but alive. I snuck her away from the others and brought her back to the goal. I put her in the astrolabe, one of Otto's inventions, created to make permanent alterations to the psyche. And I used it to isolate and neutralize the part of her psyche that was... A murderer? Problematic. I knew the world would never forgive her, so I had to hide her somewhere safe. Oh no. I hid her among her family, Rasputin. Among your family. No, no, no! I projected memories and feelings on your father so he would accept her. Accept Maligula? Yes. As your grandmother. No! Listen, Raz, I know you're mad. My great aunt killed my grandma, and so you made us babysitter for 20 years? Now look it, you spring this news on your family now, their memories will unravel, and there's no telling how they'll react. So? They might try to kill her. If Lucretia is attacked, if she feels the need to defend herself, that dark spirit could reawaken inside her. Maligula really could rise again. You're right to be mad, Rasputin. I was young. I made a terrible mistake. But we need to deal with that after we get control of this incredibly dangerous situation. She's not there. Probably wandered off into the woods again. She keeps doing that. I know where she's going. The Psychonaut started out here, in the heart of the forgetful forest. There's a compound deep in these woods, protected from intrusion by psychic devices, traps, and illusions. I think Lucy's trying to get in, trying to go home. Remember, mad later, mission first. Now stick close. I'll show you how to get through. Agent Cruller? I hope I didn't lose him in the woods. Wow, it's really all still here. The Green Needle Gulch. So much history here. I mean, this is where you assembled the team that would become the Psychonauts. This is where you first discovered Cytanium. Where Otto made his first psychoactive devices. Where Cassiopeia wrote her books. Where Helmet Fulbear workshopped his psychodicy. Where Bob Zanotto and Compton Bullpup 
pioneered communication with plants and animals. And where... where... I mean, this is where it all began. No, Raz. This is where it all ended. Yeah, you don't want to wear something like that for too long. Hmm. Is it this direction? you know where you are? What can you tell me about this place? I... Oh, I think... I think I used to keep the cinnamon over there. Oh, we don't have much time. Her old memories are coming back. What's going to happen? Listen, Raz. This compound? We got into some pretty far-out stuff here. I've read about... The kind of stuff they don't write about in true psychic tales, okay? We all pushed each other to go farther, to broaden our consciousness, to open every closed door in our minds. It made us defenseless, psychically. But we were in a safe place here. We had each other. Then her homeland was attacked. She insisted on helping. I begged her not to go in that condition. It's so vulnerable. Ah, war brought something out in her that... Should have been locked away. Maligula. After the deluge, I brought her back here and closed those doors again with Maligula on the other side. How? With the astrolathe. A powerful tool we developed to make alterations to our psyches. That doesn't sound safe. Now you wouldn't understand. It was an age of exploration. But you're right. We were messing with powers we didn't understand. And now I have to clean up this mess. But I'm not the psychonaut I used to be, Rasputin. I need your help. What do you need me to do? First, I need you to go to the Heptodome and prepare the astrolathe. While I stay here and keep a close watch on her. Be right back, Nona. Stay away from the river, booty! Aha! I knew I had some chewing tobacco hidden in here. I'm sensing some stray thoughts nearby. Yeah. 
harmless to me. But that's probably how it gets you. This is where the first Psychonauts met. And this must be the Astral Lane. Well, I'll just turn this thing on then. Well, those are thick and thorny. I'm gonna need a little help here. This is where they sat! Touching that thing again until I get rid of the bees and vines. Hmm. Is it time to take a spin in the brain tumbler? Actually, I don't want. Who oh, got a side card? Check out these new time bubble bins. Let's combine that psychor with your card so you can rank up. That's the hot stuff right there. Let's combine that Psychor with your card so you can rank up. Please use your purchases responsibly. lying around. 
ね。It's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. Is that the real Kyomobile? Wow! This must be Helmet's Theater. The Fieldmobile needs a tune-up and a car wash. And actually, it smells like there's a skunk family living in there, so never mind. Psycar! Oh, great. Bees love me. I'm not contributing to the global decline of the Hello? You, Green Needle Witch! You don't exist! You're just something someone put into my mind. Which means there's probably a very powerful psychic nearby. Another hallucination. A very solid hallucination. Oh man, are you gonna cast a spell or something? Who are you? How did you get in here? And where was our security, eh? Cassiopeia? Author of Mind Swarm? Ford Cruller brought me through security. Ford? Ford Cruller? Came back? Oh, I knew it! I knew he would. But I'm not ready. I've been trying to fix this place up for him, but, but you know these bees are so demanding. Ford wants me to turn on the astrolathe, but it's covered in, well, Know anything about that? Oh, I think I can help you with that. I'm just happy to be useful again. Get out of my way. Ford needs me. Oh, I can tend to the queen later. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. She says I can't talk to you anymore. Wait! Cassie! Who's she? Yep. 
I do not want to mess with those bees. Cassie? Shh, they'll hear you. Cassie, would you sign my copy of Mind Swarm? I was wondering when you were going to ask. What took you so long? Thanks, Cassie. So, are you the Green Needle Witch? What? Why would you say such a thing? Because you're so pointy. Those are pine needles. They stick to the honey on my suit. I can't help it. Because you lurk through the woods in the dark. I do my beekeeping at night because this darn bee suit is so hot. Because you're so tall. Okay, well, I do wear lifts in this thing so I can reach the upper hives, but what beekeeper doesn't do that? No reason. Well, I'll admit, I have been playing into the legend a little bit. Why? I need to keep people away from here to protect it. This is a sacred place. What's up with these strange bee... things? I've lost control of the bees. They're keeping me like a prisoner here. I'm going to help get you out of here, Cassie. Shh. Thanks. What are you doing out here by yourself? Why don't you work out of the mother loop with the rest of the Psychonauts? Oh, I never could adapt to the whole new Psychonauts thing. I'd like to stay out here and remember the old days. Also, I want to take care of it as best I can, in case Ford and the others ever come back. Would you mind if I snuck a peek inside your mind? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went away. I know why you're here. Now, to whom shall I dedicate this inscription? Not that many people find their way in here these days. You must have a good head on your shoulders. Uh, definitely a big one. Now, just imagine what you could do if you were using 175% of your brain. Actually, Cassie, I need your help with something else. We're on a critical mission, but there's a swarm of bees that's making it impossible. Stop right there, young man. Nothing is impossible. If you follow the 25 simple steps I've outlined in my book. Now then, let's go show these bees what we can do when we put our minds together. There's that pesky little volume. Thank you, young man. I have been looking for this silly book forever. Wait, she was going to help me. What? This one? <laughs> oh, I'll admit the author was helpful once, when we needed the money to leave the country, but that was a long time ago. But when the chips were down and we needed to fight to protect our friends? Ah, worthless. Is there another Cassie book in there that could help me? They are all restricted. Hmm. Then again, maybe I could help you. If you were to help me. There are two other books missing from my collection. Dangerous books. These are the books that got us into this horrible situation. These are the wrong books, you understand? Round them up for me. Take them out of circulation. They are overdue. Understand? Then you'll help me with the bees? I'll help you with the whole alphabet, Sonny. Can you 
help me find these books? I'm her favorite assistant and best assistant, and I already looked, so give it up. I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. Yep. when you bring me back all of the I promise. Hello? Shh. Lower your voice, please. Where should I look for the missing books? Maybe you should start at the beginning. Have you tried the children's corner? What books am I looking for exactly? One is supposed to be a teacher's edition textbook, but I doubt there are any valuable lessons in there. The other is a lurid crime story. Ugh, terrible books. The sooner we get them in isolation, the better. Can I talk to that nice writer, Cassie, again? You don't want to talk to her. She seems harmless, but she's full of dangerous ideas about human potential. What books am I looking for exactly? One is supposed to be a team. Why do you want to round up these books? Because I'm the only one around here who cares about safety. I care. Great. The other Cassies had their chance to run things, and everybody got hurt. How did everybody get hurt? We all went to fight Maligula. And guess which motivational speaker thought she could talk sense into that monster? Ridiculous. It just made her mad, made things worse. So now, I'm in charge, and I keep all the books in order. All the important books. No offense, but I think you're running too tight a ship here. You can't keep people prisoner. Better to lock up a few books than have the entire library destroyed. I gotta run. No running in the library. This librarian aspect of Cassie's mind seems to have her whole psyche in pocket. Until I figure out a plan, I'll play along with her scheme to avoid suspicion.
seriously? Memento Mori. Okay. <laughs> Having fun? Getting pretty sore, actually. This thing doesn't even have a saddle. Hi, I'm Raz. And I am the Lady of the Lake, helper of knights on noble missions. Ooh, I'm on a noble mission. Can you help me? Sorry. Already gave my sword to a handsome knight fighting a dragon. Hey, have you seen any runaway books? Uh, sorry. Smarts ain't my thing. What's the axe for? Bookworms. They ate my family. What's your name? Guten Tag. Ich bin Gerda, the Pretzelmeister's daughter. Ooh, where's the Pretzelmeister? Papa fell into the pretzel machine. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. Not to worry. It was his secret wish. Really? I think so. That's why I pushed him. Wait a second. I don't remember being in this book. You gotta watch out. There's a giant, uh, you out there hunting for you. Don't worry, young man. The librarian can't get in here. That's why she sends in her operatives. Who, me? I'm not an operative. I'm just playing along with her until I find the real Cassie. The real Cassie? Tell me, child, what is your name? Rasputin. And tell me. Who is the real Rasputin? The one you are with your friends? With your family? Or the one you save for your special someone? Hmm? Is that the real you? Or are you actually a combination of all those different identities? Important challenges in our lives can cause us to create entirely new identities for ourselves. Sometimes summoning powerful archetypes from our unconscious mind. The hero, the explorer, the shadow. My special talent allows me to summon up whatever archetype I need to survive my current situation. Would you like me to teach you how? Focus your mind's eye on a vision of the archetype you need most right now 
Is it a trickster? Oh, well, very good. Woohoo! You'll get better with practice. Archetype will act on its own sometimes, but you can also focus it on a specific task. How's it going? Mm, feeling a bit flat. <laughs> Hi. I'm a fish. Look at my bones. Stop it. I crease easily. Good dog. I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. I oh, it. look at him go. Under so the door, cute. Like a pesky too. That's the spirit. What a good boy. See where this little fellow takes you. I'll meet you at the end. And then, I'll tell you my plan for the librarian. <laughs> Aren't you from The Mind and Introduction? Yes, yes, always nice to meet a fan. No time for autographs, though, sorry. Wow, conceited. Please excuse me, I have a lot of thinking to do. Hi there. Lub dub. What was that? Lub dub. Lub dub. Lub dub. Uh. Lub. Uh. Why so glum, Dino Chum? Well, I'm from an old textbook, and it turns out I'm not considered a real dinosaur. Please don't tell the librarian. She'll throw my whole book out. Hey, what's that? Easy squeezy! Don't you just love books? <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? Are you in pain? To be free of the flesh is to be free of pain, my child. How did you lose your skin? I donated my body to medical science. I had no idea this is what they had in mind. Yikes. Are you mad about it? Skin's actually a lot more trouble than it's worth, to be honest. I'm free of rashes, itching, pimples. Aren't you cold? Cold is a feeling of the flesh, my friend. No skin. No cold. You look like you could teach me a lot about anatomy. You bet. How's this for starters? There's one of me inside of you. Gross. Hey, that's insensitive. Why aren't you, like, dripping blood and stuff? It happens from time to time, but I just go over to the horror books and drip on them. They like it. Bye, muscle man. Bye, baggy old clothes boy. Hey, maybe you should try reading books instead of eating them. Read books? What is that, some no fad diet? Oy. Sounds like a good way to starve to death. Everybody is dead. 
don't fight people, do you? Only if their name is Ferris. Huh? Sorry, magnet humor. So, what are you a molecule for? I don't know. What are you a person for? Hi, what are you two up to? We're running away from our spouses to start a new hey, life together. Do you bite people? Periodically. What's that sound? You don't bite people, do you? Oh, huh? sorry. Magnet humor. Hey, are you the formula for a general conical surface? No. I just clenched my belt too tight. Hard to breathe. First tag. To work together so well really inspired me and it gave me an idea we need to get all of cassie's archetypes together round up all the runaway books and give them to the librarian but she'll lock you all up oh don't worry we won't be in them we'll be with you now go find the others hurry the teacher's edition. We all learned so much from this one. But we can't have her making up new identities and confusing things right when I'm getting everything sorted. Can we? No. We can't. Just one more book to go. You're right on the edge of becoming my favorite assistant. The battle with Maligula must have brought this librarian to power to make Cassie feel safe. I think I should help Cassie get her aspects back in balance. Yeah. Oh.
Shakespeare? Forsooth, etc. Oh, wow. You really talk that way. No, I just like to give the fans what they want. Huzzah. I'm Raz. What's your name? Say my name, and I shall release the child. Lance? Hey, did somebody tell you? Uh, it doesn't matter anyway. So the baby was creepy. So I sold it to the Pretzelmeister. Do you know any spells that help find books? Of course. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Please, pirates don't really talk that way. Oh, sorry, I... They talk like this. Arr! The Fisher King, last guardian of the Holy Grail. Really? Then where's the Grail? Currently in the dishwasher. The dishwasher? Top shelf boy. Gentle cycle, don't worry. Uh, oh. 